Young Molyneux dumps the clutch. Had to give it a run up. Absolutely. So, Juniors out on the racetrack at the moment. Lights are yellow, so we'll send them around one more time. See what Paige Jordan can do here with some clean air out front. A front row start. She'll have Kayla Adams on the outside of her. So, Townsville kicking off heat race number three here. It looks like going to be taking out all the front rows. Girls were good last night, weren't they? Hey, there were some epic battles here in our junior sedans. No fear at all within the youngsters. You can probably see it live on play from here. There's a little bit of precipitation. Like we haven't had enough of that over the last two nights. Let's hope this is very quick and passes as uh, we don't need our juniors running around on, uh, on a slippery racetrack. We'll leave that to the stewards as to what we do with them. Body back of the lights are out. Officials are happy. Send our juniors were here for eight laps. Their final heat race of the night here. Paige Jordan will lead them off. Pole Kayla Adams on the outside of her. Libby Jorgensen, second row inside there. Young Jacob Molinay in the M10. Glad to see his transponder is working better in this one. Jai Cottrell there, the 10-year-old. Start out of position number five. A bit of a slow restart there. Track very slick for these youngsters. You see them all slipping and sliding down there in turns one. Kayla Adams pedal to the metal right now. She pulls away. Coming out of turn number two. Slight contact there between Libby Jorgensen and young Jacob in the Mariba number 10. So we'll see how this plays out, Mac. It's going to be a very interesting heat race with some very tough conditions. Yeah, a little bit of uh, Torval and Dean Ashen out on the racetrack at the moment. Molino had a big look. Actually, I think Molino's finally found the surface he likes to run on. The, the wetter and the slipperier it is, the better it goes. That little rear wheel drive to out of Corolla. As uh, they fire off, come on, Carla, don't head towards the fence. Good girl, well done. Oh, Huxley around on the back straight there, just gets it all types are wrong. Keeps it off the wall, parks it up on the infield there. So we'll go orange, we'll throw him back in and restart in a moment. Good save there for young Huxley, keeping it off that wall. Yes, the, uh, the skill level from the juniors is absolutely spot on. A lot of uh, sprint car drivers wish they had those sort of reflexes, I can tell you right now. Tell you what, your brain probably works differently when you know you don't have to pay for it, do you? Oh, well, that, that is the other reason, yes. Drive it like you stole it. You know, being both an ex-racer and a speedway file. Absolutely. Uh, Cush Clothing, still got plenty of uh, merchandise up there, folks. So has the Miola team sitting right next door. Get up and see Ryan Harris. And, of course, uh, Kimmy Miola up there as well. The lovely Marissa and Melissa up there helping out as well. And, of course, Joshy Fort's in the house with Emma Well over there in at the Victory Fuel. Team just beside the corporate box here, just on the entry to turn number one. So plenty of merchandise folks around the place. Lots of great food. Fantastic drink as well, Nathan. And you know what? I can smell the steak burgers again. That wind is just blowing in that perfect direction. Nailing you every time, Macca. If, we, if you disappear, at least we know where you've gone. i got to say, thank you very much for taking us to the Hambo as well today, mate. Loving the food over there. Great sponsors on the Speedway as well. The worst part about the Hambo is when you got to leave. Sometimes we end up getting stuck there. So. <laughs> yes. Well, let's hope we don't end up back there tonight. So... Lights are out, Nathan Ram, which is a good sign. That means and the rain is gone, so that's good. Huxley is going to have to give it a giddy up. Catch up to the rear end of the field here. We'll send him away for seven laps remaining. Kayla Adams right now in control of this one. He's doing a great job, isn't she? Keeping it off the wall. Paige is sitting back there and saying, you've got a great mate, Libby, right behind her. Here we go, Rambo, on the gas one more time. Into it early, Kayla, steady on the throttle there. Got the power to the ground, done an excellent job. Do you see them all getting onto that cushion now, using it to their advantage, but Libby Jorgensen around the outside of Paige Jordan will move up to position number two. Slower pace compared to what we're seeing here as the youngsters battle a very, very tough track. Adams. Slip slide away. Out of turn four. Livy got a big heap of pace coming out of four and down the front straight. Look at hey, her on the cushion, Macca. Yeah, she's ripping the lip, isn't she? Right on the top. Ducks it to the bottom, tries to diamond off turn number two. Kayla says, no, Liv, not this time. It's a 
foot a little harder against the firewall. See what Clay you getting an awesome, awesome shot there at that back straight, showing us just how sideways these youngsters are getting. Look at this down the front straight. Kayla trying to make that T32 as wide as she possibly can. The two kids from Townsville. Livy. Oh, come on. Play nice, the girls. Oh, good switch up there for Livy Jorgensen. A dive up the inside. Adams shuts the door. Very, very sideways for Adams. Will she hang on to it? She does, but she will lose the lead to Livy Jorgensen. Now will lead him with five to run. Make that four. That was midget speed car style, wasn't it, Nathan Rand? She's done very well to hang on to that. I tell you what, Libby read this racetrack like a book, straight onto the cushion, and boy, has it paid off. Now, Joy Cottrell, Molyneux, and Hawkins rounding out the rest of the field with Huxley right at the back. He's about to get a visit from his big sister. He lives almost on the bubble bar, only a handful of laps left. Three to go, in fact, this time by. Oh, what happened there? Young Joy got it all crossed up. Still clean and green. Molino. Oh, Molino into the loose stuff down the bottom. They've got to be careful. If they go into it too deep, they're not going to come back out. 100%. This is about to get interesting. Huxley doesn't want the big sister to put him a lap down. Livy going to have to go off her preferred line here, the cushion. So she's going to slide right up, bank straight on to it. Fantastic racecraft there from Livy Jorgensen. Just letting the car read, didn't she? She's just feeding it a little bit, letting yeah. the car work it. Taylor's curse at its best. Well done, Rambo. Good job, mate. <laughs> Checkered flag. Oh no, we got one to go. One to go, yeah. One to go. Docker's jacket this time out. The bed sheet. Oh, Kelly Adams case. around on the main straight. Hi, Kayla. There you go. Docker backwards. Damn, just all crossed up there. She went to duck down the inside to put. Young Huxley Jorgensen a lap down. Slick racetrack on these tiny tyres. Proving to be very difficult. She didn't mind getting it sideways this time around, did she? <laughs> she held on to it a few laps ago. That one just a little too far. Hopefully we'll see Shawnee Adams back out in uh, his car again very, very soon. Yeah, an electrical issue put him out for this weekend. But what a beautiful build that new Falcon is that he's put together. It certainly is. Checkered flag is our Macca. Just find out if they've declared this one. Declared? I think it is. Yep. So, yes, ladies sir. and gentlemen, boys and girls, she's done it again. Make some noise for Livy Jorgensen as she gets another win. Dominating fashion here tonight for the youngster. And with the rain, I think we'll just let the kids go straight to the pits. I think that's the best thing to do. Yep, good, good call. Good call, stewards. Well done. Get them out of the rain. Oh, the Molyneux machine stopped again. Once again. Big disadvantage in conditions like that running a rear-wheel drive in the June. This must be very, very difficult to pedal around here on a such a slick racetrack compared to the front-wheel drives. I tell you what, I'm looking around this racetrack. There's plenty of glow sticks and uh, balloons, <laughs> and the Miola team must have made a fortune this weekend. Them horns are still pumping non-stop. They so are. Great to hear. They are. Great to hear the horns here at uh, Cairns Speedway. Come on, if you've got one of the horns, let's hear ya. Come on, kids, blow those horns. I know there's a heap around the racetrack. There, there we go. We go. <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Dad are cursing Sam Miola. Formula 500s. Oh, this is going to be interesting on a wet racetrack. Yeah, I tell you what, if someone's going to ride that cushion, it's going to be the 53. Caden oh. Iverson there. Iverson. Summer Allen, not afraid to mix it as well. Very, very good off the starts. Hey, Rambo, you're on your own. I'm going to the car. <laughs> so we're going to send him around one more time. Get them stacked up here. Great to see the youngster, Dylan Hedger, a Cairns local there in the NQ7. Since purchasing that car, nothing but mechanical issues. So hopefully he can get the thing sorted. Had a lot of help lately from Johnny Magra up at the table. He's lending him a trailer and giving him a helping hand to set up car control and maintenance. So we'll see if he's got that car sorted. We'll get through a heat race here tonight at Walsh's Auto Cairns Speedway. On the outside of him, though, Dean Nash returns.